like the um you spoke right now on um marriages and stuff like real quick and relationships like we're gonna transcend into that um what do you, what word does BSG have for these men that are I don't know want to say that he's the nice guy but I just I don't know I'm just saying just treating your woman right like you know doing all the things that you're supposed to do provide like security loving and just caring for a woman that's not reci- giving you reciprocation like you're not receiving on that back the wife's ignoring them they're not being intimate like things are just fading she's not respecting them but the man's still holding on to that and ends up going through a whole trauma divorce and all stuff like that you know and they don't they don't know where to find themselves now to reset they they give up. They don't want to go get another woman. They want the same woman again. They keep on going back and trying to trying to find her and convince her to come back, even though, you know, she's not the right woman, obviously. But the men don't want to let it right. go. What type of advice do you have for that man? Like, how can he let that go and then just rework on himself? Well, a man needs to understand a woman is his greatest investment. It's like when you put money into a stock. You know, when I invest money into a stock, I expect a return. Um, and if I'm not getting a return on my on my investment, I pull my money out. And unfortunately, a lot of men think very, love idealistically. A lot of us love idealistically. And that's just to say, you know, we feel like if we do enough things, okay, now she'll love me. If I do this, now she'll love me. I take care of her. She loves me. And unfortunately, a lot of guys don't understand that. Being a husband don't really matter in this day and age when a girl can literally get money, housing, clothing, free trips from random strangers. All those things that a husband can do, random men that she's not tied to can do. So a man needs to also understand that just because you marry in her don't mean that she can't monkey branch. Doesn't mean that she can't talk to somebody else. Doesn't mean that she can't be loyal. You know, I'll tell you, uh, my father always says, and he's been married, my father and my mother have been married for 38 years. My father always says, son, you don't love them all the way, right? You don't give them your soul because when a man loves with his soul, he ends up destroying stuff when he loses his soul, mm-hmm. right? A girl's very good at being able to move from one man to the next because a woman Technically, he's never really alone. There's always some guy ready to take care of her. For a man, that's not the case. So when we give a girl everything and we lose everything, well, what do we have? Nothing. So a man with nothing, you know, who has nothing to lose, very dangerous, right? So a man needs to make sure he's he's loving her enough, but always has enough of himself to himself to where if he loses a piece of himself, he's still got the rest to hold on to. Um Again, it's very unfortunate. A lot of older dudes, for example, will think that because they're, they met their woman in 1975, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's 2023 that she's still 1975. And that's not the case because women are always picking up on different lessons from different women. They got that sisterhood shit going on. Mm-hmm. So, so again, you know, as men, we need to be aware that women are very adaptable. So we too need to be adaptable and be aware of um, our investment, which is our time, our life, um, and our focus. And once a man really understands that at the end of the day, you're the one that is, is carrying this shit home, mm. you're going to start acting in different ways. Because unfortunately, again, a lot of dudes feel like they're supposed to give all this to a woman just because she's a woman and they're not expecting any kind of behavior back. Me, that's a no. If you expected me to give you this and that, best believe I need some kind of reciprocation and behavior. Because if not, you're just a stranger at that point that I'm giving all this money and attention to. And I could easily get rid of a stranger. So... You know, again, men need to understand their value comes inherently from themselves, not from their woman. And know that she's picking you because you're able to provide a specific job. True. Um, and, and you're and you're able to do that very well, and you're the one that she picked. But best believe, she can pick another. And because you are always just an option to a large margin, that should keep you grounded. Mm. Right? When I say it's just your turn, I'm not saying you can't be in a relationship. I'm not saying you can't be with a woman. What I'm saying is, is you need to be aware that eventually this shit could just be your turn. It's to keep you aware of the possibility of failure. Okay. What would you speak on or how do you feel about the dynamic of men shopping for women within their range? Let's say the man is overall income, looks, value, and everything is a, let's give him a seven. Should he be shopping for a woman that's, Nines and tens, or should he be shopping for a woman within his range that she she adds up with values around the same? A man should never try to buy a car he can't afford, even though I know girls are going to hate that analogy. It's mm-hmm. true. A man should never buy a house he can't afford, mm-hmm. right? A man looks at things from a very A to B concept. I'm using an A to B concept and analogy, so ladies, don't hate on me too much. I'm not mm-hmm. calling you a vehicle. Just relax. <laughs> my, my, my thing is this, right? Like, at the end of the day, 
a, a man really needs to understand where he is in the social hierarchy, right? If you're a doctor, how much money are you making? If you're a chef, how much money are you making? Understand that if you're a chef working at a restaurant, but she's constantly going out, she's going to be running around with other dudes that eventually have a higher status than you, have more money than you. Like or if it's easy, If it's easy for me to emulate how much money you got, best believe she can and will shop around. Now, obviously there are people who won't do that. There are women that won't do that. But a majority of women do this because again, it's just something that is inherent to, the, to their overall nature of what they are. Again, safety, security, stability. No woman wants to sleep in a fucking shack. I don't care how nice she is. I don't care how humble she is. If a man is willing to let her sleep in his, in his silver lined diamond studded shower, and she's used to just sleeping in poverty, best believe she's going to go to that gold-studded shower. Yeah. So you as a man have to constantly be trying to evolve and improve in your status. That way, as she increases in her value, and that can be just from her change of her fucking clothes, yeah. right? You two need to also be able to do the same damn thing, but from a financial and mental standpoint. And if you can't keep up with that, best believe another man is keeping up with that, and she will entertain that man. Mm. So what about the men that are saying, hey, but BSG, she's different. Like, I believe her. She says she doesn't care about all the, the income and all the cars and all stuff like that. She, she just wants just me and my attention. Like, and I don't have that much money right now. I'm not that much high value, but, like, I trust her and I believe her. There was a woman that said, I will take care of my man to a point. There's, for a woman, there's always a point, right? There's mm-hmm. always a limit. That limit might be higher than regular women, but there's still a limit. If I'm constantly giving her cornbread and water, eventually she'll get tired of it, right? <laughs> yeah. Especially if you got friends, especially if you got friends that are eating steak and filet mignon, exactly. right? Okay. And you gotta and, and men need to understand that shit. You need to get out of this whole trust, lovey-dovey emotion shit and be very, very realistic, very realistic. Again, a woman will forgive a man that is evil if he's able to provide a great lifestyle. Look at all the gangsters. Look at all the drug dealers, okay? But a woman will not forgive a very kind man that lives in poverty. Look at all the homelessness, right? Mm-hmm. Because if being a sweet, caring guy was all you needed, every homeless man would have a rich woman or a beautiful woman mm-hmm. or an attractive woman or a 10, right? We have to be realistic. Life is showing us reality. Mm-hmm. If you're an evil mother effer with a lot of money, you can get any woman in the world. If you're a kind, sweet soul that works in a food uh, kitchen, you're not getting that awesome woman. Now, could you get a good woman? Possibly. Mm-hmm. But you got to understand women are always conflating their value with other women. They're always competing with each other. So if she sees that she's always hanging out with so-and-so and and -and so-and-so got more money than than you Mm -hmm. and her friends are constantly, constantly, constantly bombarding her with, hey, your man don't do this, your man don't do that. Eventually it will wear on her conscience. Wait a minute. We can do better. Mm -hmm. Because, again, a woman's instinct is based upon her survival. Not about everybody else's. See, a man's instinct is based upon protecting the fort. Protecting everybody, saving the day. Girls are about protecting me, mm, me. Very true. So anything that can anything that can elevate or or break her down, she's very focused upon. And we have to look at history. Mm. We have to look at the numbers and be realistic. I get tired when I hear dudes talk about this whole, you know, well I trust her shit because I know dudes that said that and their wife was getting banged out in DR, <laughs> their wife was getting banged out in, in Colombia, yeah, yeah. um, and oh, I'm just going on a trip with my girls was the, was the answer. Yeah. So, <laughs> Alright, 